Now, the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, has said about 35 vessels have been arrested over oil theft and other maritime offences in the last five months. John Tena reports that the Naval Chief stated this at a meeting with key maritime stakeholders at the Naval Headquarters in Abuja. The last meeting by the Navy leadership and key stakeholders in the maritime sector held on February 5, 2024, where issues bordering maritime security, especially oil theft in the country, were deliberated. Five months later, today, the Naval Chief, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, again held the same meeting with key stakeholders to consolidate on the gains recorded in the last five months in the oil sector. Admiral Ogala, while addressing the gathering, said the Nigerian Navy has sustained maritime operation against oil theft and other maritime offenses, which result to the arrest of about 35 ships involved in oil theft. The Nigerian Navy has therefore sustained her maritime security operations through surveillance, response and law enforcement in addition to collaboration with all maritime stakeholders. We have rejigged our operations and established Operation Delta Sanity this year. The operation has achieved remarkable success, successes in curbing oil theft as well as other maritime crimes. So far, over ships, 35 ships involved in oil theft have been arrested and handed over to appropriate prosecuting agencies. The Naval Chief reiterated the importance of stronger collaboration of relevant stakeholders to boost oil production for socio-economic development, even as NNPCL representative disclosed that oil production has increased to 1.6 million barrel per day. One of the key goals of this administration is to promote the development of the new economy. And that implies making the environment conducive for operators to operate. With this engagement by the Chief of Naval Staff with key maritime stakeholders, it is hoped that oil production in the country will be boosted by meeting the daily 2 million barrel per day target by the federal government. John Tena, ITV News.